Indeed, greetings unto you, beloved and holy friends. Thank you so much for joining me again on another video. I always appreciate your presence. Let's melt more into being, shall we? We're gonna have some cow, cow guests joining us in the background every now and then. <laughs> They're all over the yard and I don't have the heart to chase them away. I'm gonna let them be as they be. I am one that has chosen to assume the responsibility for the pebble called Earth. <sighs> Damn, that was a little bit more than I anticipated. Gonna... <laughs> oh, that's, that's like one of the, the more intense ones. I am one that has chosen to assume the responsibility for the pebble called Earth. So... The reason they're using the word pebble here is because there's this understanding of our own consciousness. And you can kind of imagine it as this infinite ocean, right? And in this infinite ocean, there's always pebbles being dropped. Lane? Lane? Who is Lane? Who is this Lane Butler music person? I haven't seen him in forever. I have no idea who he is. <laughs> It's nice to have you here, Lane. Thank you for joining us, friend. It's been forever, man. Missed you, dude. So anyway, infinite field of or infinite ocean of consciousness, and then we drop pebbles, right? You know, I am this, I am that, uh, I am unworthy, whatever you want to drop in your infinite field of consciousness, and then you experience the ripples that that little pebble makes as a result of that. So, in that same way. The Earth is another pebble in that infinite field of consciousness. In that infinitude that is just life, you know. Lane, there we go. Hey, Naomi. It's nice to have you here as well today, friend. I make metal musics about death and stuff. I'm pretty cool, you know. You are pretty cool, Lane. I have to say, dude. You are a pretty cool dude, man. I think you have a lot of flavor, you know. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I want to show you, friends, something. I have two buds which I'm going to combine as our smoke today. This is uh, orange sherbet 2, as I called it, because I have two orange sherbet plants. And this is the strain that came out the most purple of all of them. I'm pretty sure you can see how it's like, it kind of baffles my mind how purple it comes off of the plant. And it loses, it does lose a lot of its purpliness, but it didn't lose all of it. So yeah, we're gonna smoke on that today. As per usual, I am still working on dishes, but when I noticed the time, I decided to log on. It's nice to have you here as well, Naomi. Thank you for joining us, friend. How has life been treating you? How has the exercise been going? Have you been, been making progress? Do you have any uh, goals that you've reached that you want to share with us? We're here to celebrate with you, friend. Lisa's here as well. Okay, I have a question uh, for your friend on the podcast. Is he here as well? Okay, I have a question. Your friend on the podcast is here as well. So, like, I have two friends that usually join me on the podcast. One is Yuan, and one is Christian. <laughs> but I don't think, like, Yuan sometimes tunes into my streams. Christian rarely does so like I'm, I'm not I can't say with any 100% certainty my friend but I'm going to go out on a limb and say no they are not here in the stream with us not not currently at the moment unless they are please do prove me wrong uh, you high or not yet not yet friend I am going to crush myself a little bit of marijuana and then we're going to roll set marijuana into a smokable form factor called a joint. And then we'll be a little bit more, at least that's what some people say, high. It's an interesting word to choose as well, right? Huh? Why high? Why not low? Hey, Yader, thank you for joining us, friend. It's nice to have you here as well, dude. How have you been, man? How have you been? Oh, I felt like yesterday was such a, a surreal day to me. It felt like I was getting a little bit flabbergasted of 
the amount of stuff that was going on. So this morning, <clears throat> well not this morning, was so this morning around 9 a.m. ish. So last night I had a bunch of really weird dreams. And I was waking up in the middle of these dream states where it was like this weird sensation of like, you know, waking up to the dream and then being aware of the lesson that I just learned in the dream and then being like, damn, that's an important lesson to learn and then falling asleep again and then that repeating over and over again of me learning this important lesson, then falling asleep and then learning some other important lesson. And now today, oops, as I've woken up, I can't remember any of these important lessons that I've learned. I'm not too worried about, you know, remembering them because it was a dream state informational system. So I do believe all of the information still technically is in my subconscious. So if I needed it, you know, absolutely needed it, I, it would come as a, something to me that's accessible. But as a result of the way I was feeling, because I felt like I was learning these lessons over and over and over again, or more lessons over like a short period of time and I didn't have enough time to actually integrate them you know genuinely integrate them into my own conscious experience so yeah I like literally rolled myself a joint with the intention of integration you know to really realize the information that is being presented to me and how I'm supposed to be using that information for the betterment of my life and for the betterment of the lives of those around me as well so I'm not sure if I'm going to smoke for integration again, but I did think that it was definitely something that was very necessary. Also had a little bit of a, a midday dance. Ugh. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. Um, okay, cool. Was curious, trying to associate them. I was listening to Jovan's uh, really great conversation. It really was. I haven't actually shared Jovan's podcast on the, on the Discord, but I will. It really was a fantastic podcast. Man, like she said one thing that just like keeps ringing in my head. She said this thing. Money is our way of trying to understand time. And every time I say that, it's just like, huh, that's curious. That's curious. I love it. Siobhan is a really smart person. It was fun having a chat with her. I would like to have chats with all of your friends eventually. I mean, we're doing this for the long term now, you know, forever and ever. So in forever and ever, there's going to be time for each and every single one of us. Um, just smoked my morning bowl and met the sun. Felt the energy it gave off. Feels Today feels good for everyone. Yeah, I feel that as well, friend. It's a nice Sunday. We get to chillax. Like my Sunday is technically over. Your Sunday is starting. Mmm. Life is absolutely amazing. We have so much to be grateful for right here. Just to be able to have us as friends here in this moment, in this space. Infinitely grateful for that. Life has been doing well, workouts haven't been quite as frequent as I would like. But I did get to go for a few outdoor walks instead, which was lovely. I also recently broke a plateau and lost a few more pounds, so that felt nice. That's amazing, friend. Thank you for sharing that with me. That is nice. Yeah, congratulations, 100%. Nature walks, I think, definitely have a place in their own as well. Like just, you know, power walking. So not walking as you normally do, but just walking with some, some direction. You can also get really good workouts that way. I used to do this thing where I would lift weights and then I would like put a, put a like a five incline at like eight kilometers per hour and I would just like you know power walk and watch YouTube videos for like an hour and it was such a, a great workout like not not something that is like tiring like it you know beats you to the to a pulp but something that was definitely you know beneficial as a, an extra tool to, to help me lose some weight I'm thinking about being lean now it's not that much fun actually there is a bunch of you know feelings that come with that as well uh, Mikey says yeah I guess hi is like euphoric don't know if it's spelled right I understand what you you mean though yeah but like why do we call it high you know 
Like, I do believe that there is, in some sense, you know, an elevation of your consciousness. So maybe that's what they mean. Like, your consciousness is a little bit in a different plane of existence. It can be a little bit much as well sometimes. Thank you for the helpful friends. I appreciate it, Naomi. And Canadian Shield. So I'm guessing two friends from Canada just gave me helpful awards. Very synchronistic. Thank you, friends. With the connotation that low is a bad thing, being high is a good thing. Yet, it seems it's a bad thing because weed breaks your mind. Yeah. Yeah. People, like, yeah. I do, I do understand what you're saying, dude. Nothing can break your mind if your mind... It's already broken, dude. Mm. How about that? How about that? Like, I'm at the point where I accept, you know, the breaking or the melting of my mind. Uh, because when, when those things happen, it's usually when I realize just how little I know. You know? We don't know anything. We pretend to. We, we stuff facts, trivial facts into our consciousnesses. But knowing, you know, truly knowing, is just being aware of what you are right now. Okay, the stream ended, so I'm gonna have to start it back up again. It's not too bad though, because we have the Reddit bot. It's going to catch us up again. Let's go again, let's go again, let's go again. Do 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 do. Day. 150 continues. Let's get swifty. Gotta get swifty in here. Let's get swifty. Melting mines. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Dunk. And just like that, we're getting back into it. Mm -hmm. it smells really appetizing. Okay, got my grinder to close. I'm guessing we have Reddit friends sending me messages that the stream dropped. Thank you, friends. Thank you, thank you for letting me know. I appreciate you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm happy that I'm at a point where the Reddit dropping of the streams no longer, like, affects me in any, like, in any way. Like, my consciousness is just, like, smooth brain. And these dropping of the streams just slide right off of it. <laughs> uh, there we go. We have some bud crushed. I'm going to mix the, the two buds that I crushed together. So there's a nice little mixer rooney. It's way too much. <laughs> we always overdo it and we're back. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I just stopped by when your stream dropped, but it's always a pleasant surprise to catch your streams while I'm flipping our pan. Thank you, tech guy. It's nice to have you here, friend. What do I want to set as an intention? Huh? Since we're like a small group, well, we're 16 friends in here right now. But I'm like, I'm caught up on, on comments. What do we want to set as an intention for today? We're in sync, Lisa, absolutely. That we know about. I'm back, maybe the universe didn't want me to walk away and continue dishes. Yeah, it must be. You have to be here. You have to be here now. Thank you for the heartwarming, Naomi, I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great weekend, Melt, and friends. I hope you're having a great weekend as well, tech guy. Like, I. I think I also hurt my neck in my sleeping process last night because it's really stiff. So I'm not feeling very mobile. But that'd be... <laughs> that'd be as well. You know what? I'm going to actually then smoke for that. Not necessarily directly from my neck, but maybe... Decompression. Yes. I was like thinking of something that is the, the opposite of tension. And I think decompression is a good one. Decompression. 
I'm pretty sure it's spelled incorrectly. But uh, if I'm literally going to get myself into an anxious state, if I worry too much about the spelling, and that would be the opposite of decompressing, wouldn't it? Mm. <laughs> Husband and I bought a new mattress a month ago. We have been sleeping like babies. <laughs> that sounds so good, dude. What mattress did you buy? We were recently talking about purple mattresses as well. And we had another friend tune into the streams and say he has a purple mattress. Which one did you end up buying, friend? Like, there's something about buying yourself a new mattress. Like, have you gotten yourself a new mattress as well, Naomi? I'm curious. Talking about your neck, reminding me of how I've been describing my shoulders. Uh, sounding like Rice Krispies lately. Snap, crackle, and pop. <laughs> Uh, we bought the purple. Uh, yeah, I knew it, dude. I, I I don't know how I knew it, but I knew it. I like you, bro. I like you as well. Is it B BP Man? BP Man 22. I like you as well, friend. Thank you for joining us here. For sharing some of your divine presence with us in this very moment. The the intention matters more than the spelling. It's all good. I know, Yader. I'm not too worried about it, dude. Like spelling literally a sound right with a word decompression and now I can make squigglies to signify that that word as well you know I'm jealous uh, we paid for a new bed but it won't arrive for another week or two look at that like it's a synchronistic event interestingly enough one of my friends like my IRL friends all of you are my IRL friends but the friends that I can I've hanged out with and smoked his joints with let me say it that way he he recently or literally tomorrow or the day after tomorrow is moving into his own apartment and he also bought himself a new bed so it's it's crazy so many new beds being bought by by bed stonks friends bed stonks are going up must be <laughs> Um, it's indescribably wonderful. I've never felt this good on a bed. Husband didn't like the idea uh, of the square, but you can't find them. Oh, the squares, the, the little grids. Yeah, I, I can't imagine that you would feel them. They're too soft. I remember counting the days haunting. A win-win tech, absolutely. What kind of bud we're rolling up? So we're rolling up some orange sherbet and then like uh, a CBD strain that turned out very purple as well, you know, alongside it. We're mixing some bud today to have a more full experience, if you will. Yes. Yes, sir. You know what? No. <laughs> I'm looking at the amount of weed I crush. For some reason, I every single time I crush way more weed than I need to. Now this thing isn't staying open as I want it to. Hooray. There we go. Every single time I crush way more than I need to. And then I fall into the habit of telling myself, Oh, I have crushed weed. I'll just, you know, roll myself a, a small little skinny whatever. And then I'm smoking joints at 9am. It was a Sunday. It is a Sunday. So I'm like, I give myself some leeway on Sundays and Saturdays, but... It's too easy to fall into a pattern, you friends know. Uh, where are we hanging out? Cool place to chill. We are hanging out in Southern Africa, friend. South Africa. Or South. South Africa, like some South Africans say. It's a beautiful country. There's probably some cattle behind me. Yeah, you can see them, can you? Yeah. I think you can see them. Some cattle behind me. It's a calm day. It's kind of coldish. But not that cold. Not that cold yet. I did bring myself a blanket today in preparation, but it's feeling good right now. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us, friend. Purple buds, purple beds. It's a purple day. Yeah, and Naomi's little like avatar is purple as well. And my purple cup. And like there's some shades of purple on my shirt as well. I don't have a scarf on. <laughs> I just realized. I don't have one of my pashminas on right now. Has it been the first time ever you've caught me without a pashmina on? I think so. At least on these streams. Uh, uh, uh. Damn it. Re. Re, 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 re. You know what? Sometimes 
your little sticky part curls over and then when you lick it you just stick the sticky part to itself and that's what happened to me today but I have more papers so I'm gonna start it up again Oh, hey, Sensane, I'm happy that you're here. I'll get to your comment, friend. I just have to read Naomi's quickly. I wish we could have afforded the purple mattress, but I think um, anything would be better than what we have right now. I constantly feel so exhausted, and I never look forward to going to bed and always wake up with so many aches and pains. Yeah, like, oh, a, a good bed can make the world of a difference. It really can. I'm happy that you at least got yourself something better than what you had, my friend. You know, we're moving there. Step by step. I know I enjoy some Suver Haze, Suver Haze today. That sounds amazing, Lisa. Suver Haze. I didn't know you smoked as well, Lisa. Thank you for telling me. Husband didn't want to spend the money on it, but I have to really consider the fact that we spend a third, yeah, um, a third of the next decade of our lives on this bed. Might as well get a good one. Exactly, friend. That's how I feel about it as well. That's how I feel about it as well, because... You are spending like eight hours a day on your bed, sometimes more, right? And like that is that is a crazy amount of time to be uncomfortable for or to be comfortable for. So it is something to take into consideration. But it's not always feasible, economically feasible to do so. So we, we do what we can with what we have, where we are, you know. That's what's most important. We're going again. Joint number two being tried to roll. Like, I, I think this one doesn't have too much of a curve in it, fortunately, so... It should be aight. It should be aight. <laughs> Waking up well-rested and without pain made it worth every penny, yeah. It will. That's the thing. Like, these things... These things will always make a difference. Like, it's the same thing for me. Like, the stuff that you use the most in your life, right? Your cell phone, your work computer... Uh, your bed, and then maybe like your working chair. Like these things are worth investing in because you're going to be using them for a lot of time in your life. And if you're uncomfortable in these you know, situations, if you're not comfortable with using your phone, if your computer is too slow for you, I'm not saying go out and buy the newest shit constantly, of course. Not, not saying that at all. But like spending a little bit more money to get something that you know is going to last you a little bit longer. And while it lasts you a little bit longer, also gives you a really great user experience. Those are the things that are most valuable to me, at least. Not, you know, on the grand scheme of things, but when it comes to, to buying things for yourself. <clears throat> well, this time the refresh, it didn't show your new stream for me. That's interesting, it's insane. It did the same thing yesterday with yours. But I see, like, your streams get dropped. And then they start up again, and then you get like 5k viewers. <laughs> Lucky fish, you. Uh, I'm glad it was a good investment. That guy, I'm happy as well. Get yourself some good Z's, dude. All of them good Z's. I'm not ecstatic about how this joint is turning out. Because it could be better. But it's not bad. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm glad I've already done one. Purple is my favorite color. Um, I was meant to be here today for Purple Day. Purple Day? Oh, 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 you mean like today is Purple Day. Yes, you are meant to be here, my friend. Absolutely. Visiting, visiting. I don't know what you mean by visiting. Hello from Grand Pass, Oregon. Where are you from? I'm from South Africa, friend. Thank you for joining us all the way from Oregon. It's nice to have you here. Uh, illusion says noise strains. Um, I'll talk with you, bro. I'm packing a bowl of some wedding cake right now. So, greetings all the way from Texas. Greetings to you as well, friend. Man, we've had so many friends in the stream. Like, I think wedding cake like has been, the, has been the strain that people smoke the most when they're telling me what they're smoking on stream. Apparently, wedding cake is a very popular strain in, in America right now. <laughs> Because it's super high in THC, something like 28%, right? I mean, more power to him. More power to him. You know, it's a great shirt. Um, don't want the scarf on, lol. <laughs> yeah. I'm not too stressed about it. Like, usually, a kid is a drip scarf, so it helps keep me a little bit warm. And then, if it gets super hot, I can just wet it and it keeps me cold as well. So that's technically the reason that I wear it. 
Like it has the, the dual function of keeping you warm-ish in the winter and then keeping you cool-ish in the summer. And I am kind of cold, but it isn't going to make as much of a difference as the blanket that I'm going to grab a little bit later. A uh, bed is one of the best investments you can make. You use it daily. Yeah, literally every single day. Anyone else? No. I'm, I'm thinking you're the only one right now, friend. Mm, da -dum -dum. Uh, JK, gonna pack a ball, but I hope everything comes out okay. Everything will, friend. Everything always turns out okay in the grand scheme of things, right? And you can go really nihilistic with it as well and saying that there's going to be a heat death our planet is going to be consumed by our sun as it loses mass and expands into a red giant. Like, all of these things are going to happen. And if you really think about it, like, having our... Damn! My stream keeps dropping, dude. My stream keeps dropping. Let's go again. Let's go again. <laughs> uh, Reddit. Why you gotta be like this? Why well, I gotta be like this Reddit? Okay, let's go again. Uh, day 105. It continues. Again. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Okay, 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 okay. Dump, but dump. Like, you know, the problem, well, not the problem, the part that bothers me is the fact that I'm missing comments, you know. Because now I know that your friend said something, asked something, like, tried to co-create with me. And now I can't, you know, just continue scrolling down and read your comments. Because it kind of drops with the stream as well. We're here though, right? We're here now. Third time's the charm, I'm sure. This, this is going to be the stream that... Just, you know, chills out. It's gonna go all the way to the end of the stream. Mm hmm. That smells really nice. Decompression. Decompression. What is my intention for drinking water if my intention for smoking is decompression? What goes well with decompression? Decompression and settling, I think. Just, you know, calming down a little bit. Uh, Mr. Popular, it was those 3,000 broke your stream. Yeah, I know, friend. I know, actually. Like, I saw it happen. Like, literally, 3,000 people joined the stream at once, and then Reddit's like, yeah, nah, drop the stream. <laughs> Why Reddit? What have I done to deserve this? What have I done to deserve this Reddit? I'm a good boy. I behave. Right? I follow our pad rules. Please love me. Please. Please, Mr. Reddit, sir. <laughs> Thank you for joining me again, though, tech guy. I don't need 3,000 viewers. I just need you. I just need you, dude. Um, what's good, Meld? Hey, JM of Shoff, a show. Yo, dude, that name, bro. JM, it's nice to have you here, friend. I'm doing well, friend. It's nice to have you. Aunt B, you're here as well. Hello again. Did you finish your stream? I'm guessing. Is Uncle Becky streaming again right now? Because I want to actually tune into Uncle Becky's stream. I'm curious about what's in the package. You got a gift from Red, right? I'm really curious as to what's inside. I also wanted to ask you a question in the stream, Aunt B, but I thought that it was going to be like hard for you to answer it, you know, because of the delay and stuff. But, but here I am with you right now. So I want to ask you a question. Are you doing, so by the way, friends, Uncle Becky and Aunt B actually have a store right now, www.haywirehill.com, where you can buy Haywire Hill merch. I'm curious, Aunt B, are you doing it through like a company where you're like sending them your designs and then they create products for you and then they sell it through them? Or are you like buying bulk of these items and then shipping them your yourselves? I have hiccups, damn it. I want to set an intention for why I'm drinking water. You know what? Anti-hiccups. Mm, yeah. 
anti-hiccup water drinking today. I left for a couple of minutes and it dropped again. It did, dude. We had like 3,000 people joining the stream. And then Reddit was like, oh, nah, nah, it's too much. It's too much. Maybe it was like 30,000. Maybe. <laughs> no, wishful thinking, right? Uh, Mr. Reddit, sir. <laughs> Mr. Reddit, sir, please. Please, Mr. Reddit. Um, I didn't announce it, but I walked away to do the dishes, and as soon as I got my hands wet, I heard the audio pause, and when I came back on stream drop, damn it, stop leaving! Stop leaving, Naomi, you keep dropping the stream. <laughs> Your presence is 100% essential, otherwise the stream doesn't continue. Uh, he's still cheating, chuck off. Okay, your stream dropped as well, Aunt B? It seems like, you know, Reddit is like trying to to do a high score or a record or something because since Sane's stream got dropped, then his stream got picked up again and he got 5,000 viewers. My stream dropped, then it got, I, I started up again, then it got picked up, got 5,000 viewers and then it dropped again and your stream dropped as well. I wonder how many people's streams have dropped in just this morning. Mm, of course, joining you for a smoke, finally have my own ball pack. There we go, then I have to light this. Decompression. Let's calm down. Mm. Decompression. Integration, decompression, and anti-hiccups has been my intentions for today. Integration is something that's very important to me, you know, because, like, it's one thing to receive a lot of information but it's a whole other thing to be able to actually incorporate integrate this information into your own life and i want to get good at that jmo for show for show okay that makes a lot more sense jmo for show for show it's nice to have you here friend i actually like your name thank you for the whole seeing our vote lisa and thank you for the hugs lane i know you're the hug dude bro <laughs> but i'll give you a hug man one day hey i like your hair thank you the small little 3D printers on my head slowly extrude them out of my skull. Or out of my scalp, technically. And then it looks like this. <laughs> um, he wanted to do the work ourselves, but he just don't have the setup or time right now. We're so... we're going through a company for now. I think that's great. On B, I really do think so. Because, like, I'm, I'm thinking... I'm, I'm trying to learn from you friends as well at the end of the day. And it would almost be impossible, like completely impossible for me to do it from South Africa. <laughs> I already started to do some research and stuff. It costs me to send a 500 gram package. So literally a single item. It costs me 70 bucks just to send the item to America. 70 bucks just for the shipping cost? Excuse him, what? Why? Why is it so expensive? <laughs> so, yeah, it would be like the, the way I wanted to do things if I ever, you know, make something available is to like sell the melting pans, which we, we make at home. But it would be impossible. Like I would literally have to charge like a hundred dollars per pair of pants. And no, no, I <laughs> can't, can't do that so much. Wakey bakey, wakey bakey for you, I'm guessing, red clicker. It is 44 minutes past 4 right now where I am. So it's not quite wakey-bakey. I just had to finish these last, like, six dishes apparently. That's not allowed. No, absolutely no finishing of the dishes, <laughs> Naomi. Oh, it's nice to have you here. Smoke, mate, smoke. I'm gonna smoke, friend. Don't worry. I'm gonna have to light it again because I let it die. Enjoy the smoke. Thank you, friend. I will. The universe... Is talking to you, you Naomi. Listen, I feel that actually. I do feel that. Been uh, seeing the issue discussed in the mod Discord um, this past week. Okay, <coughs> so it is a thing that is definitely increasing in its frequency of happening. Unfortunate, but I mean these things happen as well. It's nice to have you friends here. Thank you. Thank you for sharing the space with me. Mm. Two point three k viewers. <coughs> Nani. Thank you, friends. <coughs> oh, damn it. I'm choking up. There's so many of you. <laughs> how have you been, friends? <coughs> if every single one of you tell me how you've been, 
I can probably spend the rest of the day just talking about you. Wouldn't that be great? Do you friends, like, because there's so many of you, I feel like there's this, you know, pressure for me to say something else or to say something important. Anything that I have to say, I'm saying from personal experience, from what I feel, from what I think. Nothing that I say, I want to say as this is fact. Because I don't know jack shit. None of us really know anything. Not in the grand scheme of things. We don't even know how to grow our own nails. And yet it happens. We don't know how to beat our hearts. And yet it happens. Right? So it is in recognizing this not knowing mind, right? That you, you don't know everything. In which you almost open yourself up to learn from the world, from yourself, just from, you know, your own life experience. Your life is meant for you, friends. I hope that you know that. Know that you are very important in this life. Very, very, very important. If you weren't exactly, you know, literally exactly the way you are, with your job, with your mannerisms, with the way that you look, the way that you choose to brush your teeth, the way that you stir your coffee. If you weren't exactly that way, there would be a lack in the universe where that expression of you that you are having right now isn't. Do you recognize how important you are? Hmm? Quite literally essential to everything. We can't, can't go without you, friends. Seems to be quite a clear message if I would listen. Yeah, just, just pay attention, friend. Sometimes all we have to do is pay attention and we'll hear the lessons we're supposed to learn. Uh, Sacred Field, popping to say howdy. It's nice to have you here. Going to rip my vape just for you. Please do, friend. It's nice to join you on this tetrahydrocannabinol frequency, if you will. There's some more to it, obviously, but... Like, for some reason... The purple buds really kick my ass as well. They have like, I think, lemon on? No. It's some sort of chemical that you found in lavender as well. And it's spicy, like it, it kind of burns my throat, but it's a, it's a nice burn. It just makes me cough sometimes. <laughs> Thank you for the narwhal salute, Fred. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Hair routine. I wash my hair, then I apply conditioner, and then I rinse my hair. And then I will take a comb and I'll part this part down and I'll part this part over. And then I'm done. Oh, location, South Africa. Stay up, my dude. I will if you do as well. What's this about, bro? We're just expressing ourselves, friend. We are sharing a space in which we allow ourselves to recognize how important life is, how important this very experience we're having right now is. And we're taking some time to do that with one another. We're coming together to spend time in a place where there is no judgment. There is no right, wrong. There is no lack. There is no, you know, thing that you have to contribute other than a space for you to be in. And you can be, like, right, you can be in, a, in the middle of the jungle, right, as a space. Or we can tune into this as a space as well. You don't have to say something to the jungle or to do something in the jungle for you to experience the beauty of the jungle. And that's what this is about for me, friend. To come together in a place where we get to, you know, enjoy and experience just what it is we're experiencing right now. Mm -hmm, I agree, dude. Uh, have you seen the volcano? The, the volcano as in the smoking apparatus? Yes, I have, friend. Each time I ask, the stream cut out. But I'm curious, did you roll your motivation that you're, you wrote down into the filter? Yes, I did, friend. That is what I do. So I write down like an intention into the Garrick. And then quite literally, my smoke is passing through those, you know, symbols. Those magic little words, little letters. And the intention for today is decompression, right? Just to <sighs> calm down, calm down a little bit. I feel like there's definitely a spike of anxiety going through the world right now. A lot of people are feeling it. <clears throat> it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. We're calming down. 
If you want to learn, uh, sorry, stop smoking is better. Yeah, you're right, friend. You are right. Smoking is not good for my health. I, I understand. You and Uncle Becky are due for a call to catch up. I actually want to do that on B. I would really love to do that. Like, I know Uncle Becky is very busy as well. Maybe, like, ask Uncle Becky if he would be down for a phone call after stream, maybe. I would really love to have a chat with him. 20 minutes late. If you're talking about the stream, we, we had the stream drop twice before this one, friend. So, technically, yes, I am late, but not, not, not in the traditional sense. I wonder if there is a less expensive shipping option. Maybe they tried upselling you on fancy um, expedited shipping. I'm not sure about that, friend. Like, I went to, like, um, FedEx, just, like, basic, basic shipping. International shipping, but international shipping is a little bit expensive. And South Africa in its own is a little bit wrecked. <laughs> Spring.com will set up a logo to sell on merch. That's really cool. Thank you, Red Flicker, for letting me know. Like, the intention is not to sell anything this year, as you friends know. I don't want to take anything from you, friends. The intention for me is to give everything to you friends to be in service of you stop smoking you're right you're right uh, all i have is two glasses container a couple of balls and the cutting board and i would be done but universe says no are you sitting at the computer i'm guessing naomi you can use your phone and just have it like against the wall while you're washing dishes right coughing with hey uh where did those hiccups go it's working yeah of course it works friend of course it works like it's just you just tell your mind things right that's the power. <laughs> That's the power we all carry. Thank you for the silver, friend. I appreciate that. Um, drop shipping is the way to go. Yeah. I literally just try to pick my pashmina up because I usually, when I drink water, I'll wipe the water off of my lips. <sighs> Muscle memory. <laughs> awesome. You're awesome as well, friend. Thank you for joining us here. No pressure. I'm enjoying this whole vibe, the atmosphere, and the cows moving behind you. They're getting kind of close. Like that one isn't that close, but this one is. Such interesting creatures. Uniqueness is vital, absolutely. Hey, Uncle Becky, it's nice to have you in here as well, friend. So nice to see you. <clears throat> What's that behind you, a cow? Yeah, it is. Uh, let's vibrate frequency 420. Yee, perfectly put, dude. Let's do that someone now. Summer. Is a weird Afrikaans word because I don't know if there is an English translation for it. Cause, it's like it's it's almost like because, like cause. Like you, if you, someone asks you why should I do that, and you just say because, that's like that's what the word is, not like because this this and that. Just the because we have a whole word just for that way of using because. Sommer, want dat say so? Sommer. <laughs> and or you can say, I'll, I'll, I can it ook sommer doen. I'll do that as well, basically. <laughs> well, that's, I, I don't know how to explain that word. It is unique. I love your lighter. It's so cute. Also, what do you do? I am in service of the people, friend. We had a chat with one day this morning. Usually he streams 9 p.m. Pacific time. I'm thinking, um... And I was looking for a stream yesterday, couldn't find it. Then this morning, woke up, uh, like checked the Discord, saw that Aunt B posted a link for the bonfire. I was like, oh, damn it. It's like, it was, she posted it like 4 a.m. So I was like, oh, damn, I think I missed it. When like saw like the tail end of the stream, got to go back and see a little bit more of it. It was wonderful. And then after that stream end, I like literally scrolled down and I got one day, also an amazing, amazing streamer friend, I think he is 49, Ugh, just so much wisdom, also such a calm demeanor, wonderful like vibration that he puts out as well. And we were having a chat and have I lost my story of what I wanted to say? I feel like I did. I feel like I did. Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got it again. What do I do? Right. And. He was like, I, I remember someone asking you, like, what is it you're doing? And you saying that you're unemployed. And he was like, I don't think you are unemployed. What you're doing is, is you're being in service of people. Right? And I was like, man, I've never actually thought about it quite directly in that way. But you're right. 
And then I said to him there, if someone asks me again, what is it that I do for a living or what is, what is my job or whatever, that's going to be my answer. I am in service of people, friend. Nice bonfire last night. Congrats on one year, Uncle Becky. Absolutely, Uncle Becky. Congratulations. Thank you so much for sharing that space with us as well. You have so much beauty and so many people keep all of the beauty to themselves. And what you're doing, you know, I believe is inspiring the world as well. Being able to show the beauty that we have, being able to share that, being able to enjoy it together, being able to come together as a result of something like that, coming together around a bonfire, if you will, be it virtually. That's amazing, friend. Thank you. Thank you for doing what it is, what is your do. I've also actually almost finished with your piece, Uncle Becky. Like your, your hat is mostly done unless I want to do like shading and stuff or patterns. Your face and your beard is done. Your pipe is done, but your shirt, dude, like, damn, like these, these little furls in your shirt is so hard for my brain to draw. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to shade them, but I'm, I'm trying to learn. I'm going to get good, get good little by little. <clears throat> uh, yes, um, to that anxiety spike, I felt it too. Definitely was a thing. I was like... <gasps> Holding on for a second, you know, the, the boss music starts, you <laughs> you want to run, but you don't see what it is you're running from. Instead of FedEx, have you tried the regular local cost? Dude, like regular local cost is hectic as well, dude. Like the thing is, it's just South Africa being a little bit problematic with its shipping. We don't have decent infrastructure to do that stuff, unfortunately. Cost seventy five dollars to ship to Canada from the USA. You see, and that's like literally almost on land. I'm guessing. Yeah, it's crazy. Shipping costs. Shipping costs will kill ya. You live your whole life in SA, or you went to it. And if you, why are you going to South Africa? So I have lived most of my life in South Africa. I was born and raised here, and then when I turned twenty. Like at the end of my 20th year, I moved to China. I turned 21 and 22 in China. Then I came back in August of last year. Uh, took a little bit of time off for last year and then set the intention to stream every single day for 2021. It's a little bit of a rundown of how I, I ended up back in South Africa. <clears throat> um, it's funny that you said that I can go on my phone and bring it back with me to dishes. I just did you my phone. Synchronicity, Naomi, synchronicity. The anti-anxiety generation, everything in life causes anxiety, especially work. You need to eat, uh, you need to eat stress and anxiety for breakfast to pursue an anti-anxiety life, no practical. I'm not saying like, you know, anxiety is not a thing or whatever. I'm just, you know, choosing to actively not constantly move into that space of feeling. Uh... Here is Prad, half in the other lands. Amper, yeah, amper. So uh, as like Afrikaans stadig praat, sal jy my pretty much kan verstaan, want het is amper die self as Nederlands, maar nie heel te mooi self te nie. Ek wil leer Nederlands praat, want ek wil dat ek Nederland toe kom, maar ons sal sien hoe dinge uitwerk. If you talk South African, it sounds like Dutch for me. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it would. It's a, it's a sister language, friend. Your your language is the closest thing we have to a sister language. Now nah, you're unemployed. Yeah, like unemployed by your, your standard, friend. Absolutely. Decompression. What an experience. Just to breathe out, and calm down, give yourself a second to just recuperate, and then ask yourself, where are you going next? <clears throat> like, I don't think there's anything bad in not doing anything, but I do think there is something bad in, you know, continuing not doing anything. Like if you find yourself in like a rut where you feel like you're just, you know, constantly consuming content or playing games or whatever you is you're doing that you feel isn't productive enough. 
Like I'm, I'm thinking now back to like patterns that I've fallen, fallen into as well, where you like wake up, you know, you, you go and sit in front of your computer, you play games, you eat something, you play some more games, uh, you watch something on YouTube, then you go to sleep and then you do that over and over again for days on end. And like that, I feel is definitely a lot worse than what I'm doing right now. At least this way we are, you know, sharing in a space. We are exploring new ideas, we're learning new things, we're feeling things, we're <sighs> co-creating instead of contracting away from. <clears throat> Thank you for the helpful friend. Uh, Oh, Misan and Red Flicker, I appreciate it. And thank you for the bless of Aunt B, I appreciate it as well. Are Afrikaners hated by Black South Africans? Not necessarily hated, friend. Not by, not so much by, like, the, it's a difficult thing as well. Because if you're, if you're around, like, for instance, Pretoria in the, like, the student area, then there is no hatred amongst each other because everyone is a student like people are studying, they understand, you know, the value in co-creating and discussing ideas. So there's no hatred in, in that sense, in those spaces. But if you go to some spaces, then yes, there is hatred towards Afrikaners. It's, it's volatile in some spaces. Hey, Simon, welcome back, my dude. Thank you for being here. Merman is here as well. Don't get me started on essay postal efficiencies. I mailed your birthday gift, April. <coughs> 19 they still haven't let us know anything dude <coughs> Woo! Mm. it's kicking my ass i'm so sorry i'm so sorry merman i was just talking about that dude like we were we were getting into you know realistically being able to ship things from south africa to america and it costing like 70 bucks for 500 gram items which is nothing it's like half a pound? No, a pound? Yeah, it's like a pound. A pound of weight for like 70 bucks. You know, that's excluding just the actual product. It's ridiculous. Thank you for the silver friend. Um, I appreciate it. Hapa, haperia? Haperia? Haperia. That's how I say it. <clears throat> You're correct. That anxiety has negative side effects, but avoiding anxiety doesn't work. Raising a family, paying bills, the job creates stress and anxiety. I do agree with that as well, Complete Barber. Like, I'm not saying these things don't produce anxiety. But there definitely is a sense where you're, like, attached to those things, right? Attached to your family. Attached to the creation of wealth. Attached to your job. And, like, when you're attached to these things, when you're, like identifying the doing of these things or the completing of these tasks be it raising a family be it pay your bills be it the job that you do and you're constantly just pursuing this like pursuit of completing these external things that is not you that is where i believe you know the the wrong anxiety is coming from because it's almost like an anxiousness to do these things where you're like i need to get these things done i need to get these things done because otherwise you know something but we are infinite consciousnesses right like we need do nothing like this is something that i i really like to talk about we need do nothing i could if i wanted to just sit in this space and then never drink water again never eat food again and then within the next eight days like my life will have come to an end but the only thing that I'll lose when my life comes to an end is the same thing that every single person loses when their life comes to an end. It's a single moment, right? This single moment we have right now is what's going to be lost. And then there's going to be a continuation of single moments. You understand? <laughs> that's the way that I think about it. That's, that's where I kind of calm down, you know. And let myself not be anxious. Because I, I don't fear death, dude. <laughs> it's not something that intimidates me anymore. And all of the stuff that comes with it, you know. We can imagine ourselves if we don't f like finish this thing. We can almost trigger uh, an, a response in ourselves where we feel like we're dying. We, we imagine ourselves to be dying. 
And anxiety can really like cripple you in that way where it can like completely debilitate you to the point where you don't have muscle, muscle function properly. And that I believe is actually something that's extremely powerful. If your mind has so much power to convince you that you're being like in a, in a state where you can't move your muscles anymore. It's literally this thing overpowering your entire body. <laughs> you understand how much power that is? That is a lot of power, friend. And it's, it's the same power that goes into like creating a beautiful image as well. The same power that goes into communicating. Like it's, it's the same source at the end of the day. It's just oh, the direction we, we move it into. <clears throat> I've been in a rut, man. I feel stagnated where I'm in life right now. I wish I could go out to the middle of nowhere for a couple of weeks and just exist within nature. Like you would be surprised, Lane, as to how much good that will actually do you as well if you do that. Like I know it's not, you know, completely possible with you having school and stuff, but if you're like, if you have like summer vacation again or whatever, just like get yourself a tent, take, take like enough canned food or whatever, to sustain yourself for like a week and just go and go and be in nature dude like leave your phone just be in nature it is surreal <laughs> it is absolutely surreal uh like i don't think it's gonna fix your rut and to remember another thing as well lane and like this is not something i would usually say but especially since i know something about you like you're still very young dude like being 18 and feeling stuck is very, very common. Like I've definitely felt the same way. And that's why as soon as I finished high school, I was like, oh wait, I'm out of the house. I'm getting myself a job. I'm gonna be a self-made man, you know? <laughs> that's how it was. And I do understand where you're coming from, friend. So like, all I can say is just hang in there, dude. You're gonna be fine, man. You're gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. You're talking about white versus black Africans. Now nah, that's hardcore. I feel for the black South Africans uh, feeling poor in their own land, but that's just the way it is. Like the problem, I don't think is is the fact that there is you know lack in in the people or people being poor. I think the problem is in the management of the country as a whole at the moment, because South Africa came from a place of, of immense wealth, dude, where everybody like the unemployment rate was on an all time low. People had healthcare facilities, people had universities, people had like public access to everything that they needed to have decent lives, dude. Literally better healthcare facilities than is available or like healthcare, the way that people are get, getting treated in healthcare and how much they have to pay for things was better in South Africa than it is in America right now, dude. Right? For everyone. That's what I'm saying. And then there was this uprising because even though all of these things were available for everyone, there was a segregation in like some hospitals was only for white people and some hospitals were only for the African people. And it was like, obviously that's 100% wrong. And I'm not defending that in the slightest way. But then there was this like abolishing of the apartheid era, which is what we call it. Uh, the apartheid era basically like when that happened and there was a shift in the ANC taking over as our country's main government and like you can go and look at history just look at what happened to our country's unemployment rate look at our country's murder rates look at our country's debt look at our country's uh, value in our currency dropping it was one to one of the dollar at one point it is 16 to 1. So we've lost 1,600% of our currency's value, you know, over the last 27 years or so. That's crazy. Like, unemployment is at an all-time high. <coughs> we were talking about this a little bit on the podcast on Friday night. 500 billion rand. So like 30, 30 billion US dollars or 35 billion US dollars was given or lent to our country as a COVID relief fund to like save our country out of the nonsense. <clears throat> it disappeared in two months. 30 billion dollars was just no longer in the, in the 
governments, you know, banks. <coughs> How does that happen? How does that happen? $30 billion is enough money to make a lot of people's lives significantly better in the country. We are for like 60 million people total in South Africa, basically. 60 million people, $30 billion. You can help a lot of people and it just disappeared. That's the problem, friend. That's, that's the real problem. And that's why people get angry because it is this my mindset <clears throat> of um, like, I have this opportunity now to grab as much as I possibly can. And then it's this like perpetuation of every single next person that gets hired to do this job of being a president, like instantly is like a way I have four years, maybe eight years. I'm going to like just skip. I'm just going <sighs> to scoop my bucket full until there's like no more scooping left. And then if you continue doing that to a country, how do you survive? <sighs> That's why people get angry, friend. That's why people get angry. Uh, the ancestors really let them down. Yeah, dude. Yeah, legit, bro. Legit. <clears throat> Congratulations on day 150, brother. Thank you, Troy Elric. I appreciate it. 150 days. What an experience it has been. I feel like I'm a completely different person than I was 150 days ago. I don't feel I've ever had such a surreal sense of rapid shifting of my way of thinking uh, as we've had it here. <clears throat> I think it must be easy for an Afrikaner to think on his farmland, peace and tranquility, to talk about spirituality. Uh, dude, yeah, sure. I do agree, but... I moved from here, well, firstly, like I came from a place of extreme depression, right? Being, being here as well. And then after I, I finished high school, I instantly moved out to go and work in the city as a salesman, right? Because my parents couldn't afford to pay for university for me. It's fine. And then I wasn't making enough money to eat every month. So I went to China so that I can, you know, go and get a job there that pays me better. <laughs> uh, it's, it's very easy to judge a person, you know, based on their current circumstances. But we all go through our own journeys. Each and every one of our lives are meant for us. And it's one thing for me to, you know, be, as you said, an Afrikaner sitting on farmland in peace and tranquility, to have this experience and to keep it for myself, you know, to be selfish in my enjoyment of that. And for me to want to share that experience with friends, to want to give this to you as well, Barefoot Jacob, to want to have a space in which we can be tranquil, in which we can be peaceful, in which we can talk about spirituality, and in which we can share these ideas in a genuine and an open way. And I'm happy that you're here with us, friend. <clears throat> Dishes are done. I'm still here in the stream. Take that, universe. <laughs> here you are, friend. And the stream has been going strong. Third time was the charm. Everyone has their own challenges. Challenges. Then there are the challenges of the group, of the race, and of the country, etc. Meltmore might have a better than some others by comparison. But he has his own trials. Absolutely, friend. And each and every single one of us are going to have our own trials, right? That's the thing. And I believe no matter what your, your economic status, you're going to have challenges. Like look at <clears throat> what's been happening with the biggest billionaires on the planet right now, right? Steve Jobs, not Steve Jobs, Bill Gates and uh, Jeff Bezos, both are getting divorced within the last two years. So they have, all of the money in the world like look like look, in, a, in a real way of thinking of it nothing they ever want is inaccessible to them and yet they still can't keep their marriages together you understand like there is no point no social economic status no like perfect place where you're going to be 
in which you're not going to have trials and tribulations. No amount of money is going to solve your problems. <laughs> Nothing is going to like take away from the ebb and flow of life. Steve Jobs had all of the money in the world as well, and yet he died in his 50s of cancer. Right, he built an empire, an amazing company, sure, because he was a genius marketer, a genius salesperson. <clears throat> he knew how to present a, a product and for people to be interested in it. And he was a, a designer as well, like he, he knew things needed to look aesthetic. And he spent his life building this, this, you know, amazing company. And then he passed away in his 50s, right? <sighs> like that is a divine experience at the end of the day. But no amount of money saved him from that, you know, from, from the inevitable. And no amount of money is going to save any of us from the inevitable. <laughs> So, like, with that knowing, it has to be a choice for us, each and every one of us, to make the most of our lives, to, to really try and enjoy this life in a way that is authentic to us and is true to our purpose in life, instead of following, you know, other people's narratives or what they believe is the right way of doing things. Um, as an individual, he's no better than anybody. Absolutely, friend. That, that is perfectly put as well. Like, no life ever is any greater than any other life literally ever so your life versus bill gates's life equal in value because if you like let's say you both spend 80 years of life you're going to have breathed approximately the same amount of breaths have had the same amount of heartbeats have had the same amount of time looking at the awe of life right and that is going to be a divine experience in its own. And that's why I believe each and every one of our lives are meant for us. We're meant to be where we are. It's a... Uh... If it wasn't this way, it wouldn't be this way, right? Everything exists. Everything has to exist because it exists. <laughs> uh Lol, wasn't South Africa rich only for white people before? Uh, were like incredibly poor and denied of all job opportunities. That is the furthest thing from the truth, friend. The South African population, the white population of South Africa, is only 5% at the moment. So, like there's 95% African or uh, Indian or Asian people in South Africa. So, like, it's impossible for you to deny people job opportunities when they make up 95% of your population, dude. Like, how, I don't even know how people can think that way. What country is that? South Africa, friend. Damn, dude, you've been streaming all day. Uh, not all day, not all day. We've streamed like twice. It's been a, we had like a little bit of a dancey stream a couple of hours ago and then now this one. Uh, I've gotten up a couple of times and I've seen your life. It's nice to have you here, Extreme. How have you been, friend? How did you sleep? Have any weird dreams? Hello to you as well, 23 Rena. Where are you from? I'm from South Africa. <clears throat> Is Lane in here? What's going on, man? I, he was. I'm not sure if he's still here. The greed of government is ruining our world. Yep. And the problem is, we've reached a point where government and corpor like corporations, proper like mega corps, are working with one another in tandem. Like it's it's to the point where there's almost no separation between them anymore. And that's where it gets scary, because if the people that have legislation and like power over, you know, what can and what cannot be done are also the people that are selling products and can make a profit off of setting things up in a certain way. That becomes very toxic very quickly. If we had done conventional treatment, he would have probably survived. I have no idea what you mean. Do you mean Steve Jobs? Did he not want conventional treatment? Did he not go through chemo and stuff? I haven't actually done too much knowledge about that. 
but do do knowledge about that. I haven't done too many, too much research about that, so I don't have any knowledge about that. But do do tell me if you have some, please. I slept well. I did have a weird dream. Uh, I had a dream. I went to my old job on a mission from my current job to buy a machine that my old job wouldn't even sell. It was weird as hell. So, like, now I'm curious as well. Is this machine that you were going to buy, are you familiar with it? Like, the job... I had a... So, this new job that you're working at, would they be in need of one of these machines that your old job has? And you know that your old job wouldn't sell it? But my old job just contacted me the other day and asked me if I wanted to come back. So they were on my conscience. No, Steve Job was a, was a weirdo about medicine and his diet and shit. He was nuts. Okay, so he didn't want to like go for any of the conventional treatments and just kind of took it on the nose. I'm here, Quar. Um, I don't have much to talk about. I'm just kind of lurking. Just kind of sitting by. It's nice to have you here, dude. <clears throat> Yeah, Steve Jobs uh, chose to go to India for treatment instead of chemo, which was treatable. Yeah. That's kind of hectic. But it was his divine choice. It was his divine experience. And who are we to judge that, right? I don't think we have to. I don't think there's any need for us to judge it at the end of the day. It just... It is in the way that it is. Um, he was trying to cure it through diet and natural ways. I do, I do kind of understand where he's coming from, right? He wanted to believe in his mind and his power over body so much that he fully committed to that. And it didn't work for him. I currently run what's called a screw machine. My current, my old job made metal castings, so they wouldn't have a screw machine at all. But that's a plant for my old company across the street. Okay. That's an interesting dream. My old company is absolutely enormous. Um, they're everywhere around here. But they don't do what I do currently. So now I have a little bit more context for your dream as well. Like, there's always this need, right, for us to try and attach or get some sort of meaning out of our dreams. Do you think there's any meaning in a dream like that? Because it kind of feels just like noise, right? I'm not, like, I'm asking, I'm asking. Um, I love your mushroom necklace. Have a great day. Thank you, friend. I hope that you have a great day as well. It was a gift from a friend. 100%, <clears throat> I think, between diet and fasting. You can't cure a lot of things. But it didn't pan out for him. Mm. I wonder if there's a metric to... how specific or how likely you are to, to be able to do stuff like that, right? Like if there was a measurement, like what's happening right now, this thing is going to be hard to smoke. Because it's getting oiled up by the, the front part of the joint. It's getting like all resiny. Uh, <laughs> I like mushroom lighter too. I need that. I would like to make them available at some point as well, friend. Ideally. Do you do mushrooms? Yeah. I like eating mushrooms in my food. Mushrooms on pizza, great. I smock them. Um, now, the meal prep for the week begins. But also my waiting game of cooking. Hmm. What do you do to fill? Hmm? What to do to fill my time? Maybe read something. 
Have you uh, tried to pick up a book as of late? The waffle is here as well. It looks crocheted. I wonder if one of the crocheting streamers made it. Um, she makes mushrooms and little animals and stuff. Not one of the, the crocheting streamers' friend. This was made by someone at a Cytrons party shop. And a friend bought it for me. I don't know, it was weird as hell. For the longest time, I was I wanted my old job to call me back to work, but I ended up finding something else that I like more, and will end up making way more money um, at anyways. That sounds great, my friend. Maybe it was supposed to be this way. Maybe because you had like a little bit of a, a want for them to call you back, and then when they did call you back, you, your subconscious like triggered the dream of like experiencing what that would feel like going back to your job for something as odd like it was just trying to rationalize like a reason for you to go back to your job even though you were still at your job if that makes any sense maybe that's what it's supposed to mean so it was like rationalizing oh it's going to get like some sort of screw machine because that's a big company they might have some machines there maybe it's like they had like they bought a screw machine and then they were like oh we don't really want to make screws and then they sell it on the cheap or something so your, your brain like rationalized a little story for you to be able to experience something like that. Accent from South Africa. Um, it was nice though. I told my old job, <clears throat> I am no longer going back and I have a new job and I like it. So that's part of the past now. I do feel what you're saying. Extreme, of course. The man is talking about monkeys, not mushrooms. <laughs> if you get what I mean. Of course, yeah, I do like monkeys. I think monkeys have a lot of insight if you really spend some time to just get to know what the monkey is trying to say yeah like there's value to be gained <laughs> maybe that's what the dream was uh, going to my old place from my new place as a way to tell them i'm done who knows yeah who knows friend like the subconscious runs these kind of simulations i believe <clears throat> just to make it available as a thought process like instead of having a perfectly unique idea in a circumstance, your subconscious has already like processed thousands of ideas and kind of come to conclusions as to which ones would be good in certain circumstances. And then it like uses those, right? So that's what I'm thinking about the dreams that I had last night, because I had some dreams where I was like discussing something with a, with a person and then I was like telling him something and then he was telling me something back and then I had like a realization of what he was saying. And then I would tell him something that I was realizing and then he would tell me something that he is realizing. And then it was this like realization being shared between like each other. And then when I wake up, I'm like, this is important information. And then I'm like, uh, <laughs> what we were talking about, right? Like that's kind of how it was. So I think maybe that's what the, the point of dreams is supposed to be is to, to run these kind of simulations so that you have these pathways when you need them. In the moment. <clears throat> uh, no, no, no. Your accent would really do well reading books. Do you think so, Red Flick uh, Clicker? Do you have anyone that needs a, a voiceover error? <laughs> a book reader error or something? Totally a voice for Discworld novels. That's crazy that you say that actually, Swaffle Maker, because I'm actually a fan of the Discworld novels. Maybe. Maybe. I'm pretty sure it's already been voiced over. Like, there's probably already readings of the Discworld novels, but, I mean, maybe. I don't think... Like, I actually at one point did try to, like, sign up to some sort of voiceover, like, website. But because I'm not in America, I wasn't allowed access to their, like, inf like stuff. I was like, oh, I'm in South Africa. And they were like, oh, yeah, you're not... <laughs> you're not liable. <laughs> or... Uh, you don't qualify. I'm like, oh, okay, that's sick. <laughs> um, no mud, no lotus. Is that a book as well? Oh, no, 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 no. That's a saying. You need the mud to have the lotus, right? You need the, the dirty, grimy, uh, mushy parts of it to have the beautiful opening, you know, blossom. 
I have a fear of monkeys, so no here. <laughs> My friend. Oh, okay, but you do know what monkeys actually are, right? Uh, I may have ideas about that. <laughs> uh, I've been having dreams more frequently, but I can't remember fine details of any of them. I've been feeling the same thing, actually, Lane. Interestingly enough, I've been feeling the same thing. More dreams, but less, like, clarity slash less, you know, retention of information at the end of it. Um, why do you choose to find work in China and not America? Uh, like, mostly because... Hmm. It was like a dream when I was 16. It was like something that I really wanted to do. Uh, it was something that me and a, a girlfriend also discussed. I, like, I expressed to her this want from, of mine to, to want to go to China. And then she like reciprocated that idea. And it was like this discussion of like, oh yeah, we'll do this someday, you know, we'll go to China together, we'll teach for like a year and then come back to South Africa or whatever. And then the relationship ended and kind of the idea with it. And I was like working a sales job, not earning a lot of money. And I was also doing modeling on top of that. And I met this absolutely gorgeous woman at uh, of, like a runway show. And I complimented her dress. And we started like having a conversation, we exchanged numbers. <clears throat> I met her a few times at her like uh, workplace. I was like, she lived very close or she was working very close to where I was living. So while I was passing through, I would stop at the restaurant she was working. I would pop in, I would say hi to her. And it was always such a, like a great thing just to, just to say hi to her for a little bit. And <clears throat> then she was like, uh, I really like you, but I'm going to China soon, so I can't get into a relationship right now. So I was like, okay, that makes perfect sense, you know. <laughs> like a girl, she's leaving to China. So she does that in, I think, June or something. And I continue working. Uh, and by the end of the year, they kind of restructured the way things worked at the company I was working for, where instead of earning like 20% commission sales, I was earning 20% service sales. So... Commission sales, you can sell like $7,000 systems. Service sales, you're selling a $100 package to come and fix stuff for people. Like it's a monthly package that they pay, but then you open yourself up for services where you have to go and fix them for people. But yeah, 20% of 100 bucks isn't 20% of 7,000 bucks. So I was not happy about that. And then I was talking to her about this and she was like, well, there's a job opportunity for you here in China if you want it. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> and then I went to China. Mm -hmm. um, I may have ideas about that. Let me know, friend. Please let me know. Uh, why? Oh, I've already read one. Yeah, he's a fan of this crawl. Terry Pratchett is, yeah, he's amazing. Terry Pratchett is just a, is an absolute master. Uh, is that green screen? No. This is a South Africa, friend. Nice to see you chilling, man. Yeah, I am chilling, friend. Just calming down a little bit. It was nice to chill with you, friends. Thank you for being here in this space with me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Love and light to you.